Alright guys and welcome back to another episode of the Ipswich Town Road to Glory. You guys have been insane on the first and second episode so far and the support has been unreal and I thank you guys a lot for sticking with this new series instead of obviously going away because we couldn't get the Portsmouth one back. But I am glad you guys are happy and sticking with me. So we're going to get through deadline day in this episode. And then what I'm going to do, guys, just because I don't want to play League One again for you, because you've literally just watched it with the Portsmouth one, I'm going to play quite a few games off camera and get like through like two months in like this episode if possible. So I'm just going to bring up on screen after deadline day, I'll probably just bring up um, a month's worth of games on screen and then I'll try and do just some highlights but we're going to try and get through two months in this episode so we've got a lot to get through so we've got deadline day we've got seven hours left coming down to six and um, there's not really anyone massively I was looking to bring in um, but we shall see there might be a few players on the way out we have um, obviously brought in Samuel Aduzzi, um so we've got another wide option but there isn't massive people. I've added two players on there. Hoyland, obviously, I don't know if we can actually afford him, but he's not. we're not going to bring him in this season in League One. It wouldn't be fair. Um, and then we've got Hector Villalba. He is on contracts running out, so hopefully maybe sign him in January. Gordon as well, I'm looking at. But I don't. I think I'm quite happy with the squad to carry on really until at least January. So we're going to just get through deadline day, and hopefully, we don't get any big offer in for any players. That's an interesting move. Marcus Rashford gone to Tottenham for fifty-seven. Sam Morsey, Basicsha, one point two million. I'm going to accept it. He's thirty year old. And he's only 69 overall. Our midfielders have got we've got plenty of growth in Lewis Hall and people like that. So we'll stick with them. So we've only got actually two hours left. I don't even know if that Morsey deal will go through. Hopefully it does now. That would be ideal. No. Okay, so we're not going to sell Morsey then because we've only got an hour left and FIFA's daft and still doesn't allow the deal to go through with one hour remaining. Um, but yeah, we'll get rid of deadline day out of the way, guys. I think we did quite enough business really for the season. Um, but yeah, we've we've got a few games to get through. Um, oh, we've got our monthly scout reports actually. We'll take a look at them first. So we'll start off with Scotland. We've got Oliver Ewing. Um his potential's garbage. We've got Shane Ritchie. His potential's not good enough either. We've got Douglas Donald, 15-year-old. Potential's not bad, worth 375 grand. We'll take a look at him in the Youth Academy a little bit closer. Barry Leach, not good enough. Ewan Gibson, not going to be good enough. Douglas Drummond, some good names these from Scotland. Barry Graham. We shall we can see what he's like in the Academy. And then we've got Patrick Turnbull, not going to be good enough. And Lewis Grant, we're getting a lot of keepers really. And Barry Reid, that, um, what is it? Oh no, we've got another one, haven't we, England. Uh, we've got Dominic Walker, his potential is not good. Owen Hudson, neither's him. We're not really finding any gems right now. Sebastian Elliott, we've got Aaron Bryant... 17 year old worth 300k goalkeeper by the looks of it he could be decent and reese stokes we'll quickly take a look oh we've got john joel's transfer offer he's going nowhere i like him take a look at our youth academy a second because we've got some good players there potentially and see what they look like a bit closer so we have uh, aaron bryant potential 65 to 89 Paul Boyd, though, looks like the one. 74 to 92. 15-year-old Ireland keeper. 58 overall. And, yeah, he could be our future number one for Ipswich Town. We'll keep Brian in here for now. And we'll just see how he grows. Then we have Barry Graham, a centre-back or a CDM. Centre-back, a 6 foot 2 is not bad, you know. It's 53 overall. It's a little bit too low than what I'm looking for. 
uh, we'll see. Then we have Reese Stokes, Cam or a centre forward. He's only five foot five. Okay, he's very small then. Um, his sprint speed and accelerations are bad. We could potentially. I'm wondering if we stick a development plan on him, it might help us grow a bit quicker. And we put him as a left winger. We'll see if that bumps him up to 60 or not. Then we have Douglas Donald, a Scotland 15 year old, so obviously we can't promote him. He's got five star skill moves though. That's pretty decent. 81 agility as well. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Rhys Stokes definitely looks like somebody we could potentially look at a bit closer. But yeah, what I'm going to do then, guys, is I'm going to play some games off camera, get through as many as we can um, to try and get through two months of this season, really, in this episode. All right, guys, so what we have done is I've played two months just off camera so we can try and get through League One pretty quickly. I'm just thinking so you guys don't have to watch League One again. Obviously, I did do it in the Portsmouth one. So I thought if I can try and get through like two months in an episode, maybe now and again it will speed up this season. So I'm going to go through the teams we have played and the results to catch you up to date with what we are, where we are right now. So, obviously, we did it from deadline day. So the first game was against Exeter City and we did end up losing that 1-0 in the league then next up at midweek on the Wednesday it was a 4-2 victory over Forest Green Rovers then we played Lincoln City and we got a 1-0 win then in the league, we played Accrington Stanley and got a 2-2 draw. That was a game I thought we should have definitely won. Um, and then to round off September, we played Portsmouth and we won 2-1. That was September's fixtures done. Wasn't too bad. One loss, one draw, three wins. Then moving into the October, we had Morecambe. We won 1-0. Then we played Port Vale, who are challenging for promotion with us, and we won 3-2. Then we played Sheffield Wednesday and got a 1-1 draw. Then went into a game against Burton Albion and got a 0-0 draw. Then we played Bristol Rovers and got a 4-2 victory over them. And then to round off October, we played Peterborough and got a 1-0 win. So that is two months and now we're into November. And obviously I'm not going to play all these games this month, but we're going to finish off with one game with this episode. But we've got a few things we do need to catch up on. So our squad is obviously growing very, very nicely, but we have got some scout reports to take a look at and in yesterday's video we do have a comment is one guy suggested um the youth academy players can people who are subscribed to the channel basically and watching the videos can they offer a, a name for us to put on the youth academy players because obviously we are playing on pc so we can mod it in that way and i thought you know what what a brilliant idea that was to involve you guys as much as possible so if you subscribe to the channel and you're watching the videos and commenting on them and liking them then you can have a choice to put a name into into the game basically so put your comments down below if you are subscribed to the channel and you're watching the series of any name suggestions we can call our youth academy players so we did have one guy come in and he wanted to call a youth academy player matt ricky so i've gone ahead and i haven't promoted him yet but he is in the youth academy and he's called matt ricky i've given him a face scan as well in the game so he looks real um he's got great potential 84 to 94 he's a cdm cm or a center back but i don't think he can play any of them positions i'm thinking he needs to be playing as a winger so we're going to actually try and put a development plan on him because I think he's wasted in them positions and it's going to take 11 weeks to get him as a right winger or a striker, 11 weeks as a striker. So they're both good options. Um, to start with, I'm going to try and convert him to a winger because he's not a CDM. Yeah, he is six foot, but he's got five-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. 
his physical is shocking to be a CDM and his defending is not that good to be a CDM either. So he's definitely not that. And he's definitely not um, a centre-back because he's defending his 37. So he's dribbling 75. His pace is very, very good. Um, and I just think it's going to be the better position to play Matt Ricky to get him into the team. We are going to look to promote him very, very soon because he is only he is 17, so he's ready to come up. We have got a few youth players who I am looking at in the youth academy before we promote. Some aren't that good. But if you guys want to get a name into the game, this is the way forward that you can do so. So before we round off this episode, we have got some scout reports to take a look at that have just come in. So we have um, Charles Greenwood. Okay, potentials. Hmm, maybe we take a look at him, actually. It's not normally amazing, but we've got Frederick Rose, another goalkeeper. Then we have Tyler Summers. We can definitely promote him. And Lewis Moore isn't going to make the cut. And that was the only scout report. Ferguson, Brighton have been touching needs more game time. I'm happy to do that. We've got a few players requesting game time. So we're trying to get them into the team a little bit more. So we do need to actually set up um, a scout, a youth scout, um, because our Scotland ones have finished. It was only three months, I believe. Uh, we've got six months still in England. So we'll set... No, not fire him. We'll set up a scouting network... And we did Scotland, so do we maybe, do we look to do Republic of Ireland, or do we do Wales? We could do three months Wales, and see see what that brings back, see if it brings back any good players. So guys, to round this episode off, really, is we are going to play a game up against Bolton, so... We'll jump into that one, and that it's going to be quite a shortish episode, I know, but I just wanted to try and get through this se uh, this season as quickly as possible for you guys. So we'll get into our last game of this episode. Here we go then. Bolton do have a real stadium in the game as well. So let's just jump straight into this one. And hopefully we can do all right and come away with a win. I feel like our form has definitely picked up and we're not doing too bad in the table as well. I forgot to show you that. I'll show you this after this game. But let's try and get another victory in the Papa John's Trophy. Oh, brilliant tackle. was a good tackle, but they've still managed to keep the ball. Now here come Bolton again. Wow, what a pass that was. It's going to be 1-0. What a ball that was. It completely took out my whole defence. I can't knock it, I've got nothing to say really It was an extremely good pass For the computer And Shola Shorter On loan from Manchester United Has put Bolton in the lead It's a lovely ball And he's finished it off sublimely We're trailing 1-0 then Come back in Whip that in Back post Chaplin Oh Oh it fell it fell lovely to Humphreys and he just whips the ball in and Ferguson at the back post. Wow, that was quality. And we're back in this game now with Ferguson. Look, it just I wasn't expecting Humphreys to do that. And what a swivel. On the swivel from Ferguson. And he's banged that in. Well, 1-1. One, one. Oh, he's just gone straight through Hall there. Brilliant. Oh, he still managed to keep hold of it. Don't know how. Is Ferguson in there? Done brilliantly well. Strike that. What a finish. Ferguson. What a way to mark his freaking name on the team sheet. I haven't played him for a few games and he comes straight back into the team and scores a brace. What a, what a finish that was. With his weak foot as well, straight past Trafford in goal. And he just wellies that with his left foot. You're yeah, not stopping that. We now lead Bolton. We'll keep Ferguson on. I'll try and push for that hat-trick for him. See if we can get it. Go on, Chaplin. Make a run. Ferguson's made a lovely run. Should have the pace. Come on, he's on for a hat-trick. Oh, and he's got it against Bolton. 
He gets his first hat trick for Ipswich. It's his first one for the club, and hopefully many, many more to come. Brilliant. We've just we flipped a switch this second half. We've been miles better team, and we're just creating chances for fun right now. And he's finished that. We technically could bring him off now, and that's exactly what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to give Hurst a run out. He wants some more game time. And he's not a bad striker either. It's not very long. See if we can get him on the ball. And here he is. Oh. And he gets tackled straight away. Oh. Here come Bolton. And they're going to get one back. Wow. Who was that? Adebayo. What a strike that was. I wasn't expecting that. It nestled in the back of the net. We are still leading, luckily, so we should be all right. We can't pass the ball again. Whenever we're leading, we end up then playing bad. And that is it. We do get the victory over Bolton in the end. So, we're, we go unbeaten in the Papa John's Trophy for now, I believe. I think that's two wins out of two. Have we played more, I'm not too sure. But, we'll take a look at the table, guys, before we round this episode off. Alright then guys, so the table is as this follows. I didn't realise Bolton are sitting second and we just smashed them in the Papa John's Trophy. So you got Sheffield Wednesday on 35 points, the same as Bolton actually, it's very tight at the top. Bolton on 35 and then we have us sitting in third on 34. Oh baby. We're right up there in the mix, and that's exactly where I wanted us to be, and it's exactly where we belong, to be fair, because Ipswich, we do have a very, very good squad for League One. Let's see down the table who is in the relegation zone, and that is Port Vale, Forest Green Rovers, Burton Albion, and Cambridge United. So that is the table then, guys, to finish this episode off. Two months, and we're sitting in the top three near enough top two i'm happy with that if you've enjoyed this episode smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you're new around here and suggest some names for youth players and hit that like button if you have enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one